Hi, I'm Steve, and I'm here with a Photoshop quick take on Photoshop CC 2015's Content Aware Move tool and its ability to do transforms after you make your move. It's really fantastic, and I want to show you a couple of ways that you can use this. So let's get started. And first, we're going to use this image here of the seagulls. And what I'm going to do is come over to the toolbar, right click on the healing tool group, and choose the content aware move tool. And I'm coming over to the seagull here on the right, and I'm going to make a loose freehand selection around that seagull, and then move it over to the left side of the frame, being careful to line up the water line. And when I release the mouse, I see a a bounding box and this allows me to transform the seagull so I can click on a corner of the bounding box and make the seagull smaller and I'll do that and if I hold down the alt or option key option key Mac alt key windows the bounding box will scale from opposite corners and again I could click in the bounding box and then just move that up a little bit to position it perfectly along the water line click the check mark to commit the transform and from here, if I wanted, I could play around with the structure and the color. I usually leave color pretty much pegged all the way to the right, but structure, sometimes with structure, you really want it low or what's considered loose for some images and at a high level up to seven, which is considered strict for other images. So it's really going to depend on the image that you're using. And now I can go ahead and deselect. And that's a great use of the Content Aware Move tool with its new transform ability. But I'm going to show you something that's a little hidden. So coming over to this image, I'll make a loose freehand selection with the Content Aware Move tool around the gardener. I don't want this too loose because I've got other figurative elements in the image close to the selection. And you have to be careful when you're doing Content Aware fills, which this will do, that elements don't get pulled in. So I'm going to tighten the selection up on that side by holding down the Alt key windows or Option key on the Mac, and I'm going to subtract from the selection. Hold Shift to add to the selection. I just want to make sure I have that shadow in the selection. And I'll use that. And with the Content Aware Move tool, notice up in the Options bar, Transform on Drop is checked by default in Photoshop CC 2015, that new feature. And I'm going to drag this gardener to the right-hand side, get that fence post pretty well lined up. Then I'm going to right-click inside the bounding box. And that brings up the special hidden menu, our contextual menu, where we see flip horizontal and vertical. I'm going to choose flip horizontal. That flips the contents of the bounding box horizontally. I'll reposition the gardener for a better composition. And I'll also scale the contents of the bounding box down a little bit by grabbing a corner and dragging up. Move that to reposition it. And that's looking really great because I have a gardener over here freeing up this area. Great composition. Once I commit, but also I want the gardener facing this way, which is the great advantage of being able to flip your content aware moves. Now I'll commit the transform by clicking the check mark. And there's the gardener moved off to the right hand side. I could play around with structure at this point if I want, but I'm afraid that if I made this structure loose, the fence post wouldn't line up very well. And if I made it strict, I might start pulling in other parts of, into the content aware filled area that I don't want. So I'm going to leave the structure in the middle in this case. But that's Content Aware Move with the ability to transform and flip and flop your transforms as well. Enjoy this Photoshop quick take. I'm Steve Weinrieb, and I will see you in my next video. Hey, check out my seven hour masterclass on toning color and black and white photography in Photoshop, available at Udemy. It's a comprehensive class for all levels of experience, guaranteed to get you comfortable using Photoshop like a pro. See you in the classroom.